Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how we can delegate a subdomain from your primary DNS provider to Route 53. Many a times it does happen that you have your primary domain being managed via some another DNS provider and to work seamlessly with your AWS services, you need it to be managed through Route 53. In my case, my primary DNS provider is Cloudflare and to work with AWS, I want a particular subdomain to be handled via Route 53. Here, we will need access to two consoles. One is the AWS console through which you would access Route 53 and another is the Cloudflare dashboard. Okay, so what we would be doing here is I have my primary domain that is durgadash.in and I would have a subdomain aws.durgadash.in being delegated from Cloudflare onto Route 53. So we'll go into the Route 53 within the AWS services, click on the hosted zone, create hosted zone and within the domain name, we would be entering the subdomain name that we want to be delegated, which in our case is aws.durgadash.in. I will be selecting public hosted zone. The reason being I want this to be resolved publicly. Once you have filled in everything, click on create hosted zone. One, it is done. You would notice that there is a name server and there are four entries being provided. These are the four name server entries that you need to register within your primary DNS provider, which in our case is Cloudflare. So I am in my Cloudflare console. My site is durgadash.in and this is the DNS management site. I would have to register those four name servers. So I click on add record, select my name server as NS. The subdomain is AWS. This is the same one that I had registered within my route 53. And within the name server, I will need to register each and every record that is present here. So I would be doing it for each and every entries subsequently. So let's select the first one and register within the Cloudflare as type name server. Okay, so within my name server type, I would be pasting that, click on save. Similarly, I will need to do it for the remaining three entries as well. Okay, so we have done with the three. So let's do it for the fourth one as well. I'll be selecting name server. The domain would be AWS and I'll put in the fourth one and click on save. Now I have all the four name servers being registered within Cloudflare. I go back to AWS Route 53 and now we will be creating a record. So within a create a record, I would be creating a subdomain for my aws.durgadash.in. So let's select dev to try it out. So I'll be having subdomain as dev.aws.durgadash.in and we will be having a record type of A which would then resolve to a particular IP address. I will have the IP address for test purpose as 192.0.0. 2.35 and once we have entered this we'll click on the save option similarly you have different ways you could have a a record c name etc as needed to work with your aws services in my case i will just be clicking on a record having an ip and then saving this off so once we create a a record we have a subdomain that is dev.something which is resolving to an IP address. 
So what we will do is we will go to the terminal and within the terminal we will try a NS lookup on the subdomain that is dev.aws.durgadas.in and as you can see it has resolved to the address which we had provided while creating a record in AWS that is 192.0.2.35 Okay, there is another way to test this out. What you could do is click on your domain and then there will be an option called test record as you can see on the top. So we will do that. Click on the test record. Within the record name, give the subdomain that is dev in our case. Okay, which was of the record type A and we'll do a get response. And as you can see, we have a response. There is no DNS error and it has resolved to the IP address that we had provided in our A record. So that's all I wanted to share in this video. If this was helpful, then do subscribe and like the channel. I will see you in the next one. Until then, happy learning.